Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys an update on my educational journey. I know I told you guys when I was in the midst of finishing my medical assisting program that I was going to be taking an educational vacation, um, but I actually signed up for a new certification program that starts next week. It starts on the 15th and today is the 12th. And um, it's nothing super like spectacular, but I am going to be studying at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition for their health coach certification. And there is a reasoning behind that. So I've been thinking a lot about like what I want to do career wise. And obviously, medical assisting is like going to be the backbone of my career. But I also want to do like a side hustle or start my own coaching practice. And obviously, to do that, I want to have a certification so that people know that I'm serious about what I'm doing. And people know that, you know, I have educational background behind me in regards to what I want to coach them on. So it's a nutritional program. I don't know if you've even like heard of it, but I want to share my journey with this with you guys like I have with everything else. Obviously, it's not like a whole huge industry certification, but it is a health coach certification in nutrition, integrative nutrition. And I feel like this program could also help me kind of get my own habits under control. And if I'm able to do that, then I feel like I could reach other people who might like be losing hope on losing weight or living a healthier lifestyle if they don't need to lose weight or don't want to lose weight. Um, so I just want to see like what I can do with this certification. And I think it would be cool if I could reach more people and motivate more people, inspire people, because I do really want to lose weight. Like, I've been trying, but I've been kind of stuck. Like, me not feeling good and the weather, like, fluctuating so much has really been affecting my ability to go outside. Um, I mean, obviously, it's still March, so it's still cold and rainy. We're supposed to get snow in a few days, and then it's supposed to be in the 50s. So it's like, that back and forth bipolar weather stuff has really been affecting me. Um, but I do definitely want to share more health related, healthy living, healthy lifestyle um, content on my channel because I feel like it's important. Me as a Native American woman, I am predisposed to being overweight due to certain lifestyle choices and due to dietary preferences. Um, a lot of people on my biological dad's side of my family are overweight or have been overweight. Um, my aunt, my two sisters, although my one sister, Renee, she has been losing weight and she looks fantastic. Um, I'm very proud of her, but um, hold on a second. I'll come back. My husband's calling. Sorry about that. He was calling to ask me if I wanted a salami roll from the gas station, and I don't. Um, just because I don't feel very good. I've just been very dizzy and lightheaded today. And that is another reason why I just feel like it's time to really get my health stuff under control. We have a lot of decisions to make come moving forward as far as like living arrangements and things like that. And I know that that's probably going to make things a little bit more difficult for this um, health coach certification program, but I really do want to make it happen because like I said, I've been kind of on the bigger side my entire life. Um, I wasn't always as big as I am now, obviously, but pregnancy and things like that tend to do that to your body. Um, and, you know, after being pregnant and gaining weight, I never lost the weight again. So, you know, it was just like a struggle. It's been a struggle my whole life to, you know, make healthy choices. And I've talked about this before on my channel, but if you're new to my channel, my grandma helped my mother raise me a lot during my younger years of life. Um, you know, my mom had a job where she had to go to work pretty early 
And so if it was too early for us to go to school, we would go to my grandma's house before school. My grandma would make me poached eggs and toast or bananas with sugar or, you know, whatever I wanted, basically. And my grandma loved to spoil me. And, you know, she was always offering me food. Every time she would go shopping, she would ask me if there was anything I wanted her to get as far as like snacks and stuff. And when I was a kid, I thought that was the coolest thing. But looking back on it now, it was like enabling me to overeat and enabling me to indulge in foods that I really shouldn't have been indulging in because it's bad for your health. Um, I used to eat a lot of Pringles, chips, um, crackers. I made my own little dip where it had like ranch dressing and shredded cheese mixed in. And then I would dip the crackers or the chips into it and eat that totally unhealthy. And I'm the type of person who like, I, I do my best to eat healthy and I have lost weight. Um, but if I'm bored or if I'm just watching TV, I tend to gravitate towards snacks and things to chew on while I'm watching TV and just mindlessly eat and consume food that I'm not even thinking about or like I'm not even hungry or like right before it's time for dinner, I'll have a snack that makes me not want to eat my entire dinner, you know, so it's like foods that are healthier for me are falling to the wayside because I've already eaten all these snacks that are not healthy for me. And so, you know, in the end, I'm just hurting myself. So to kind of pull this all together, because I kind of got off topic there a little bit, I do want to be more of a role model for a healthier lifestyle, healthy eating choices. Um, and I feel like this health coach certification program will help me with that. If you guys have any questions about why I want to do this, or if you want to hear more about like my struggles with weight loss and, you know, all of that stuff, obviously my depression plays a big role in that as well, because a lot of the times when I'm depressed, I really don't feel like going out or getting up and moving around. And that's really what you need to do when you're depressed because it helps. Um, but if you guys want more information, like I said, on my weight loss struggles, um, if you would like to see me share more content in regards to healthier living, choosing better choices, healthy recipes, stuff like that, I would love to share that kind of stuff on my channel. And of course, I will share with you the process of going through these classes for um, this health coach certification. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know. I'd be glad to get something filmed for you. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys in my next video.